Okay, we're gonna start here. I'm home. I'm home. I'm back home behind my chair and the computer. And geez, my comment section is absolutely on fire over this video for some reason. People saying having a pause button in Elden Ring is not such a big deal, especially when there is pause functionality in the game already. It's not a big deal. It's designed the way it is. And I think a lot of people have missed the entirety of what's going on here. This has nothing to do with the Elden Ring. Elden Ring just happens to be a great medium to discuss certain things because it's an amazing game and it's at the top of trending for games. So, of course, we're gonna, we have Alana Pierce, which is the person uh, behind all of this, for wanting more accessibility in gaming. But the level this has gone to is absolutely absurd. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, there, there's comments in my comment section that have so many up likes it's not organic there there's nothing organic about this and i have to sit there and call this out because it's absolutely bs so i put up this video i've played around with the title a few times because the title didn't do anything on youtube it, it, it sat in the algorithm i think it was three or four days before it started gaining some traction as a video which this is something that has happened with quite a few videos on my channel with the YouTube algorithm. There seems to be a two to three day delay behind a lot of my videos. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, you're not seeing my videos right away. How can you help? Subscribe to the channel and click on the notifications when you see one of my videos. It will help propel these videos forward so they actually get views, so they actually get the discussion rolling faster than having this lag behind it because this is something that I've seen for a very long time on this channel and it stagnates growth. Well, let's take a closer look. What is a situational disability? Well, it's a, it's an in the moment something that happens that distracts you from doing something that you need to do. Now, this whole topic of situational disabilities, June 30th, 2023. September 14th, 2023, February 12th, 2024, February 14th, 2022. If you go down the scroll, the list of trying to get examples for it, it tells you within the last two years that this is something. This is something that's being made up. It's absolutely BS and it's garbage. It's a way to subrogate and ex excuse yourself from having a responsibility in life. This will never hold up in front of a judge. And I would, I wish for people to challenge that. And those that are in my comment section going off on me over this, I work in a dangerous job. I am raising a child. This is no joke. This is no laughing matter. This is no, you're being childish for not accepting a pause menu in a video game that already has one. That's not what this is about. You want accessibility in gaming. What is it? The Last of Us Part Two was one of the best accessible games on the market. The story sucked, but the game itself had one of the best examples of accessibility in gaming, and I praised it for that, but nobody sees that. So this is all comes down to Alana Pierce. I believe she's a uh, developer or a storyteller. I don't even know what her job is at this moment because she's jumped around from Rooster Teeth to IGN to Sony to here and to there. She moves around from company to company to company. Now, she also runs an award show for accessibility in gaming for disabilities and is a advocate for disabilities in the marketplace. But this type of thing with situational disability is new literature, new language, and it's all stemming, helping stem being stemmed from a document that Microsoft put out there to try and make things more inclusive, which in itself is a lie and a DEI injection into the truth. This is the particular document that they are putting out there. They call it the inclusive, a Microsoft design toolkit. Now, I didn't go crazy on this document. You have touch situational as a new parent. You are a new parent. You are sleep deprived. You do not have time to do anything other than to pick up that child, cuddle it, 
sleep, you know, try and get sleep when you can, change its diaper and feed it. You are a brand new parent. If you have time to play Elden Ring, then you are ignoring your child at this point. You are, this is now an excuse to play Elden Ring. Um, C, you're a distracted driver. You have a cell phone in your hand. Uh, you have a child in the back seat while you're talking on the phone. Yes, you're a distracted driver. By the way, what is what is the penalty for distracted driving? Well, here in Alberta, it's a $300 fine and three demerit, and demerit points. So yeah, it exists as a law, not as a disability like they're trying to make it out to. You have a hearing disability. Uh, you happen to be a bartender shaking. There's club music moving around. Well, you know how you mitigate that risk? You put in earplugs. You can't speak. You have a heavy accent. You're a minority. You barely speak English in the first place, or you're like me and barely speak English on a good day. I don't know. Yeah, I turn around and try and use the microphone to project my voice more i use the functions of my cell phone without speaking to it the, there's a lot of things out there but is it a disability is this an actual disability because disabilities are protected by law no it's not it just happens to be a situation or distraction or in this case an excuse to say, oh, I have a disability. It, it, it's not, it, 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 those that have disabilities, this type of rhetoric makes it absolutely bad and turns around and your disability in life now means is meaningless. I have Crohn's disease. In a shoot, I was at the point where I could not get away from the bathroom before I took treatment. I still deal with certain circumstances of it today. I still deal with those and it is, it can be recognized as a disability. And at some point in my life, it probably will be a very debilitating one. For now, it's not. I also have a child that is uh, learning delayed, meaning the year we spent in hospital delayed all his functionality of being a child. He will catch up. That will go away those are both temporary to permanent style disabilities down the line they're not situational my situation because i may have to go to the bathroom there isn't a toilet around that sucks it sucks when that happens but i deal with it elden ring needs to be easier because i have kids no it, it, it's not that situation and i have to give it to alana pierce she wasn't projecting that but Using the example of situational disabilities, which is a relatively brand new topic, which in itself is uh, should be rejected because it's not it's not real. It's a lie and a way to excuse you from responsibility. And people just you, I can see it in my comment section. People are seeing this as a disability and treating it as such, and it is a giant lie. For those of you that feel the need of wanting a uh, pause button in Elden Ring, or you feel that you have a situational disability. This is what's called a risk assessment matrix. There is a whole document that you can sit there and fill out, and then you can go through life and mitigate the risk that is out there. In this case, your disability to understand basic things to do. The bartender puts in earbuds. The person that has the kid has to address their kid and ignore their entertainment. The person with the accent uses a translator via their phone. These are things that exist right now. But for it all to come down to a pause button, honestly, this document, this idea, this risk assessment matrix has been out for over 40 years. There's stuff that's already out there. Situational disabilities has been out there for two years. The idea of it, how to pretty much throw this document in the garbage. And for what? It, it's going to break down laws. It, a judge is going to throw it out. 
because there is no case law against this situational disability scenario. If someone gets off on a situational disability for robbing a bank because they, they needed money, it, it, it's going to be a very interesting topic and I think a lot of people would cover something like that. With the risk assessment that's out there, you can see, you can, if you look this up online, you can find this quite easily. Just type in risk assessment matrix. Uh, you will see there's direct financial losses as a category under this or jail time if you don't do things properly. If And this is in your workplace. Elden Ring is entertainment. Video games are entertainment. They are a leisure activity. And yes, it would be great for more people to be able to enjoy a leisure activity. And in most cases you can. Isn't there uh, someone going around playing Elden Ring with a Neuralink thing on their head and they're using their mind to play the game? Okay. So that's a tool that's gone forward for greater accessibility into gaming. But to sit there and say that you have a situational disability and you're allowed to ignore responsibility, it, it's an insult to those that do the right thing, that do, the th do what they need to do in life, raise a child. I spent almost a year in hospital with my child and... Now I'm being told that all of that was a situational disability and I should have just sat there and played a video game instead and ignored my child because my child was the disability. That's not how this works. I have a responsibility to that child. I don't have a responsibility to sit there and play a video game that I can easily put down and walk away from. By the way, I'm gonna add in here, no one's trying to cancel you, uh, Alana. No one is. People just are giving you back the stuff you threw out on the internet over situational disabilities. Well, I have a situational disability and that's because I can't afford my power bill this month. Can you guys help me out on that? See how this works. See where situational disabilities are. It, it, by the way, if you want to support the channel, there is a Patreon, there is YouTube memberships. There is a place that you can sit there and do the tipping function on YouTube if you want to help out. But I'm not asking for it because I don't see it as that. I budget, I plan, and I try to do my very best and not find myself at the end of the unemployment line. A situational disability is something that literally you have control over in life. It's not a disability. It's being hailed as one and is being projected to try and at this point subrogate laws and get away with things in life that you can control having to put the game down and go raise your child spend more time with your child that's something that every parent wants to do i like to play elden ring i like to play video games but they are entertainment they are something i do as a pastime and I've turned it into something more, being able to stream with everyone and do these things in a live atmosphere. I play Elden Ring with a chat function and I, I sit there and talk to my chat. I do things with my chat. I look up guides for the game while I'm in the game without needing to pause the game all the time. I, this is stuff I do. And if my chat now is my situational disability at this point. Well, then I guess I'm sorry, chat. I can't live stream anymore because it's a disability for me to do so. It's absolutely asinine that I'm having to sit there and talk about this because this topic is absolutely something that's being pushed by Microsoft now by companies trying to say that this is a legitimate disability. It's not. It's something that is being trying to being hailed as an excuse, a lie, and I won't stand for it. And that's my stance on it. I think a lot of what Alana has actually been able to do in the industry is probably very positive, but this whole situational disability BS is just that it's BS. And if you don't like my take on it, well, you can dislike and move on. 
and still thank you for the view. Have yourselves a great day. I'm your Prague Canadian Phoenix Sinichado signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.